Good morning. I'm sat here with a friend, client, and my accountant. Val Wishart. And, uh, and Val, your business is? Beyond the Numbers. We are a firm of chartered accountants and business advisors. Fantastic. Okay, so Val, tell me, or tell everyone, who are the kind of clients that you serve? Uh, we serve mostly small businesses and work closely with the business owners. And um, we serve businesses across quite a lot of sectors, but we have a lot of, of businesses within tech. We have professional services, creative agencies, uh, shops and restaurants. Um, so quite a lot of, of variety in, in the types of clients we serve. Okay, great. And, and actually, are they, in terms of their reach, are they, are they local, are they Scotland, or do they have kind of reach elsewhere? Uh, most of them are based in Scotland, and uh, many of them also have international reach, um, export, import, uh, offices abroad, etc. Okay, great. So a, a, a fair variety of, of businesses here. Now tell me, so Val's got a lot of exposure to, uh, you know, a lots of types of businesses. So the question I'm interested in is, as people come and speak to you as a, as a prospective uh, accountant of theirs, what are the frustrations that they have with their current accountant? Um, mm -hmm. What typically do people say? Um, I would say that many people from their accountant get a set of accounts once mm -hmm. a year mm -hmm. with maybe uh, a tax bill attached to it. Mm -hmm. Usually about nine months after uh, the end of their financial year when the tax is due in a week. And um, they don't understand the figures. The figures are way out of date and they're useless to them other than knowing how much tax they have to pay in a week's time. So, so that rather than actually getting numbers that actually might help the business owners to make decisions and move their businesses forward, they're just getting old, out of date information. So I guess that's the first one. The second one is quite a lot of people are scared of their account mm -hmm. <laughs> for some reason. Uh, quite a lot of accountants have come across as scary, whether they are or not, but they come across that way. And they use a lot of jargon and technical speak that people don't understand. Mm -hmm. And, and finally, I guess, unexpected, very large bills uh, arrive in the post uh, and people just don't understand why they're suddenly being invoiced out of the blue for a lot of money for, for services that they don't understand that the accountant's done for them. So I guess these are the three main areas. Three I areas. Well, it was interesting, I was going to ask about the, well, what emotions do you typically see with people as well? When they when they come in to, to see you, um, well, they expect accountants to be scary. So I think first of all, when uh, we're really not scary at all, <laughs> we're very down to earth. And so when people come into our office, I think they're quite surprised and they they quite enjoy the fact that actually we're just normal people and we just like to, we like to have a chat about mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and who they are and where they're going. So it's it's a bit of relief. Yeah. Um, when people come to see yeah. us, they, they, they actually enjoy the experience of coming into our office for a change. So, so that, that's, I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, and uh, interesting, one thing that I love about Val's business, it's called Beyond the Numbers. So, you know, this is not, not just about getting the compliance, you know, getting the numbers right. It's actually looking beyond just that and saying, okay, who's the person that sits behind the numbers uh, in the business? And actually, how can we help facilitate a better life ultimately? So, uh, I, I'm loving that. Um, what does it make you different than that? I suppose really that. Yeah. I, I guess we actually really try to get to know the business owners rather than mm. just produce accounts for them. We actually want to know what makes you tick as a business owner. Why are you doing what you're doing? What, what is your purpose? What is your goal? Where are you trying to get to? And what can we do to help you get there? So mm. what, what information can we give you to make your choices and your decisions easier and better? for going forward. Uh, and many accountants just don't approach things that way. They're looking at the past rather than at the future. Uh, so our clients are all people, we have relationships with all of them, and I think that's probably hmm. more than anything else what makes us different. We also charge fixed fees monthly, agreed in advance, so there are no unexpected bills arriving hmm. in the post for us. So yeah. It's good. It's good, and 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 I guess Val, you've also you've also built a great reputation here in Edinburgh and a great client base as well. So you know, I think it it would be remiss of me not to at least ask you for one piece of advice that you would care to share with 
you know, business owners out here on LinkedIn? Uh, my biggest piece of advice would be know where you're trying to get to. Don't set sail without actually having a plan of where you're going because I have seen so many businesses just floundering around mm -hmm. without knowing where they're trying to get to. And honestly, even if you deviate from that plan along the way, having a plan of an idea of where you want to get to mm -hmm. and figuring out along the way how you're doing against that plan is the most important thing. Okay, very good. And lastly, we're on LinkedIn right now. So who would be a good person for you to connect with? Who do you feel that you could really serve very well? If you're a small business owner uh, within Edinburgh area, preferably, um, who has a burning urge to understand their business, understand their numbers, uh, get more information to help you get to where you're trying to get to, then we would love to chat to you to see if we can help you do that. Great. Well, look, the last thing I'll do before signing off here is just give Val uh, a massive, a massive uh, recommendation here, which is, you know, it, Val supports a number of my clients uh, and, and I know that they're thrilled with, uh, with kind of what Val and the team at Beyond the Numbers actually do uh, for, for them and their business. So again, I would encourage anyone to reach out to, to Val and, uh, and just see exactly what, what uh, a different experience might be with, uh, with an accountant. All right. Thanks, Val. Thank you, Alan. All right.